It seems like everything is about AI these days. So guess what we're going to do? Hey y'all, Deva here from the Expert Zone Southeast Asia team working with Microsoft. And today, we're going to explore Copilot on Windows. So, why Copilot? I mean, why not? Isn't it nice to have your very own butler that answers all of your questions? But then again, is answering questions its main trait? Well, no. Copilot in Windows is your intelligent AI companion that can help you share the mental load. You can efficiently complete tasks that would have otherwise distracted you from your main goals. And I guess it's nice to have something that helps you save time on what matters more. Accessing Copilot in Windows is really easy. You can either select the Copilot icon on the taskbar or by using the new keyboard shortcut Windows plus C. Depending on your version update, you will either see the Copilot icon next to the search bar or all the way on the right, which is where it will be after the latest update. Once you access Copilot, the first thing you notice is that it's on the right side of your screen. Here, you can choose to do a few things. You can choose to have Copilot overlaying whatever that's on your screen or to have it side by side. Copilot will automatically rearrange the view so nothing gets disrupted. You can even expand Copilot if it's too small for you. Now that we have arranged the view that Copilot would be using, what's next? Copilot works by giving it a prompt. A prompt is what you type or say to Copilot when you need it to do something. You can write a simple prompt like, what's the weather like tomorrow? And the best part, it doesn't have to be perfect English. Copilot understands what you're trying to say and learns the way you communicate. But before you type or say your prompt, it's important to know Copilot has three types of response tone. More creative, balanced, precise. These options will help you determine the response based on the tonality you prefer. Like the name states, if you chose precise, you will get short, straight to the point answers. Whereas if you choose creative, you will get a broader style of answers that allows Copilot to influence. For example, if you want answers for a school project based on a journal article, you can use precise to get straight to the point. But if you want to create a story or write a song, you can go with creative to get more interesting answers. And if you don't know which to use, the balance option won't fail you. Try using all three options so you can get a little more comfortable with Copilot. Now that we know what kind of response tone we want to use, the next question is, what kind of prompts can we use? There are six types of prompts that we can use on Copilot. Learn, edit, transform, summarize, create, and catch up. First, we have learn. Maybe you're learning a new topic. In that case, just ask, what is the stock market price index in Singapore today? You can even follow up with an additional prompt. What will be the impact on our economy? Or maybe you're learning a new hobby. I want to learn surfing. What are the best surfing schools near me and the things to remember for beginners? Edit. Ask Copilot to proofread for you. Can you check this paragraph for grammars or any inconsistencies? Transform. Copilot can turn a piece of information into something more digestible. Can you show me the upcoming flights from Singapore to Bangkok and back in a table format for May 15? Or create a travel itinerary of Bangkok for three days and include the top must-visit food places. Summarize. Copilot helps you save valuable time, like getting the information you want quickly from a chunk of text. Summarize this article and highlight the key points to remember. You can even summarize PDF files. Summarize the PDF file and highlight the key dates to remember. Create. Copilot can create your very own AI images as well. Create an image of ingredients being added to a cake. It's a birthday cake for a 16-year-old celebration. Base it on the Xbox game Halo. Do it in a 3D animated style made in Unreal Engine 5. Or maybe you're a teacher and need to create a lesson plan. Create a lesson plan on the topic of introduction of the human anatomy for senior high school students as part of their curriculum for the year 2024. Duration should be for a one-hour class. Include the objective, materials needed, lesson procedures, resources, and sites for additional references. Or maybe you just need to create a new workout routine for yourself. Create a 5-day-per-week hypertrophic workout program for me to gain more muscles. 
Each session should not be more than 1.5 hours. Also add in any additional information for my macros and diet so the workout is more effective. Lastly, we have catch up. You can use Copilot to catch up on the things that you might have missed. Give me a summary of today's news headlines in Singapore. Highlight the business situation and updates for Asia as well. With that, now you know the six type of prompts we can use on Copilot. But that doesn't end there. Learning what kind of prompts you can use doesn't mean those prompts are going to be efficient. For that, you need to understand what advanced prompts are. Advanced prompts are essentially just your standard prompts but with more information for Copilot to process. So, what do you need to make a advanced prompt? You need a goal. What response you want from Copilot? You need the context. Why do you need this information and what is it for? You need the source. What information or samples should Copilot use to give you the results? And lastly, you need to state your expectations. Is there any key information you can give so Copilot meets your expectations? As long as you write your prompts with these factors in mind, you will always get the most efficient answers catered for you. And there you have it, your Copilot in Windows. That being said, Copilot can also be accessed with other devices such as Android, Chromebook, Mac and iOS devices by downloading the Copilot app on your Google Play and App Stores. This way, you will have your Copilot with you wherever you go. Remember, Microsoft Copilot makes productivity effortless across work, education and lifestyle. It adapts based on natural language inputs and enables complex questions and answer interactions for better results, exemplifying human-centric advanced AI capabilities, ultimately saving you time for what matters most. If you have enjoyed this video and want to see more Microsoft related content, make sure to give it a like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Well, that's all for me. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.